Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Zero, and welcome back to White Day. Previously on White Day, we explored the new portion of the school, where things turned out to be quite deadly, actually. Alright, so now that we have the red key card, there's a lot of rooms we can go into in this hallway alone. So let's take advantage of that. Computer room. We'll use a liner. He seems to float really close by. Uh, so I don't fully trust. Turn on the lights right now. Clock is pointed to the wrong time. Tiananmen Square. Hmm. There's internet. Windows 98. This is really creepy, actually. I don't like the fact I stayed here before. We're leaving. We're leaving. Get in. Alright, I have no idea how to get back. As long as that fox spirit thing is haunting me, I'm not going to be able to get back. Got this note while we can, in case he chases us all the way home. Interesting theory of the five elements. Teacher Vice Principal Sang Moon Lee. At the core of the five elements express the concept of a continually repetitive cycle of birth and death. Let's see, Buddhist concept of reincarnation. Let's see, grand cycle of everything in the universe. Human life is not limited to the treatment of only the physical layer of the existence, the body. Ridiculous notion that dead can be brought back to life through the theories of the five elements. Running the cycle in reverse order, it can trap the life force enough to cause resurrection. Dangerous occultist idea. So that just is basically probably tell me what's happening in the school and why it's so spook. Okay, I'm so being chased, but you know, we'll handle it. The mystery in the dance studio, which we encountered. Um, since we already kind of know what this is, I'm gonna not really read this full one. I'm just gonna kind of browse through it. Let's see, all these young talents, twin sisters. So there was twin sisters. Dancers in the dance studio. Uh, Yeji, who received a higher praise than her older sister. They were a little bit competitive. Uh, Yeji was ex better expressing herself, and uh, Ye Yun started getting upset about the reviews that I kept repeating after losing the roles for lead sister. Began to nervous her, she became nervous in the meantime. The talent show showed up. There was an audition. 
Uh, let's see. She was worried that she was living in her sister's shadow for her entire life. Let's see. Ooh. The next day there was an accident during the audition. The AG fell during her performance. Her foot was covered in blood, sliced by pieces of broken glass. Oh. She put glass in her sh ballerina shoes. Okay, Yuen performed brilliantly and took the role. New emerging genius. Got out of her shadow of a dark way. Uh, scouting offers. And her other sister was in complete dis despair. Oh, she literally died of infection. Wow. There's the finale. When the music stopped, Ye Eun took a break from her practice and sat down to wipe the sweat from her face. She was alone in the dance studio after all of her students had gone home. Of course, Ye Ji would be here for now if she was alive. For a moment, she thought about her sister. They gave her goosebumps, and she quickly pushed the thought away. She turned the music back on. Ye Yun got up and stood in front of the mirror, ready to resume her practice. She stopped when she noticed there was something off with the reflection in her mirror. In the mirror, her ballerina shoes were stained red, startled. She quickly looked down to check on her shoes, but they were a clean white pair of ballerina shoes. Right at that moment she heard, I've been copying perfectly so far, sister. Now it's your turn. You copy me now. Ye Eun's reflection in the mirror, the one that wore the bloody shoes, raised her hand slowly to grasp her neck. A gleeful grin spread across her face. Now I'm gonna get smacked in the face! Fuck you! Fuck! Oh, shit! What the fuck was that? Holy shit, what the hell was that? That was random. So I've got you aggroed down in the lower floor. This is why I'm gonna take very large advantage of this. Alright, this room looks kind of scary actually. Please don't open that door. You may think it's a disadvantage to be turning on the lights when he like looks specifically for that. You'd be kind of wrong. Because what he does is, when he sees the light, he goes into the room. Makes an obvious grunt noise. And it buys you a lot of time. Which I feel is actually more valuable, because either way he's gonna patrol up here. Like that's coming. Let's uh go for these things first. The meaning of the labyrinth. About labyrinths. During the times of ancient Greece, the word labyrinth referred to an underground building that was designed to be a maze, if you didn't already know that. The Egyptian labyrinth, the Cretan labyrinth, the Lemnos labyrinth, and the Italian labyrinth. The first was designed so that all paths lead to the center. The same path will not be taken twice, but one must take the longest distance possible to reach a destination. Second time, it's basically a maze. The traditional meaning of labyrinth signifies exclusion and imprisonment. Allowing only those who are worthy to find the exit. Getting to the center of the labyrinth symbolizes uterine regression, and the labyrinth re represents the body of the Mother Earth. Thus, it is the woman who own and control the labyrinth, while men must find the right path to escape. Um, from all the underworld, which is actually true. The other thing, I'm not so sure. A bloody workbook. I clearly remember what this was for in the story. That makes me feel really scared. Cause I feel like that's gonna come back to haunt us. Slowly making his way up here. Keep our head low. Cause it definitely has interest in bamboozling us. 
And for some reason, he spots you really easy here. I think the AI is a little funky to the multi-tiers exposed. So they have greater, at least he has greater vision than he should. Get top of that damn sweetie ghost and killed. Damn ghost of an old woman. I think it's being around. Where in the world is Ghost of Story? See, I've hit the right countries, but it doesn't seem to do anything. So, I have no idea what that take it for. It could trigger a ghost, it might be like random. Like, sometimes there's very specific things you have to do to trigger the ghost. Aside from, uh, you know, just doing the event. Um, I think your tiredness sometimes has a, a play. Which is why I think I was able to trigger that one ghost. The old lady one. Cause maybe because I was exhausted and running. And it has a very specific thing you have to do to trigger it like that. door chain is fast from the inside. I think I can open it with something laminated. Like what? I really think I have to backtrack the old room too. That's what I'm thinking I have to do now. Because there were some areas, like I have two colored keys. So maybe that's it. Let's see what this is actually. Light. Power. Volumes are too dangerous to touch. Take that. Put power in. Oh, library rules play. Too high, can't reach it. Um, any steps? I don't know. Let's see what we can do here. I can see through the floor. I've also triggered the spawning of an enemy. Ideal for shoving between gaps. Great. Great! I'll grab my stuff! And put this thing in here. Let's go in here. This can be considerably safer. Than the other room. Because usually they don't come into the second tier room. But he might be doing it this time. Because he's just a dick. Uh oh. All right, you're human. Where are you? Why am I here? <gasps> what are you doing? Why did you bring me here? I didn't do this. No, I didn't bring you here. Don't lie to me! Just stay back! I'm Emily. I'm a protag. Keeps following So Young, getting all worked up, and then she disappears. And I keep seeing these impossible, creepy things. I keep dying to those impossible, creepy place. things. This car school is making all this happen. What have you seen? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anything. Please leave me alone. Leave me the hell alone! Leave me alone! Get out! 
Listen, I can't. There's a janitor literally the next thing over. You know what that janitor does to kids like us? It ain't pretty. Leave me alone. Thing I can clickety clackety. He is really close. Kind of scared, actually. Yin Yang token. When I think this gives us a shortcut. Back to the thing of thing. More investigation is needed to confirm what actually happened, but I was locked in the dark due to the power outage in the music appreciation room. When I started to lose my sense of direction, I began to feel sh short of chill. I'm um, there's a bright light emanating from the bag with the yin yang token in it. I might have been seeing things from focusing too hard on the investigation, but it was nonetheless a magical experience. Maybe I can go and, like, actually handle that girl now. Okay, let's take you on. Hopefully this works! Yang Toki is radiating light. Where is she? Done! Demon! Here you don't come. There you are. Don't you try to do that. Listen, I found you! That's bollocks. Burn! I thought I was about to feel there for a second. Well, I'm nearly dead, but you know, it's okay. We got what we need. Drive belt. Well, of course it won't work. We put the damn thing and took the thing out. Ah, eye testing lens. That's for something. Probably help you solve the principal puzzle. This, I don't even know. Now we can work on this. Cool. Maybe if you try to play this in the other room, you just get screwed over by the janitor. Dark. That's the voice of that girl. Who are you? Why are you here this late? Why is this school haunted? I'm the night duty teacher. Look, I don't know why you're here. But here's the key card. That leads outside. Be careful. It's dangerous here at night. Night is when the dead ones come to life. Why is a school still here? I really wish I could do that. Get out of here. 
before it's too late. Or you'll die like me. Or you'll get trapped in this school forever, too. Knew it, you bastard. Goodbye. I'll take your key card. All right, all doors are open to us now. Oh, happy day. I can't find any clues. And I think we're completely stuck here. Well, my life has been hell. Did my sister get stuck too? Do you know the reason I'm here? Thanks for asking. Well, it's for my sister. You've heard the rumors about me. How I had a sister. My sister killed herself two years ago at the school. There had to have been a reason, but no one ever bothered to find out. She just said she didn't know. To be honest, I can see her sometimes. I'm not talking about in my dreams. I can see her walking around the school. Sometimes she glares at me full of rage. Other times she just stands there and cries. I feel so bad for her. She must have had some kind of reason. But no one knows. I can't even help her move on. I've never talked about this with anyone before now. Let's go now. What are you? Listen, this was dumb. How did you open the door? Let's run for life again. I do not like you. I know you don't like me, but the important thing is I don't like you. And I will be seeing you in the restroom, unless you are permanently chasing me. It might be a case, it might be a scripted chase. So you like outrun him and then you go down into the bathroom, unlock the door of the blue key card. Not the bathroom, with the blue door. No, it's a typical chase. He's de -aggroing. Probably turning off all the lights I left up here. Well, let's start opening doors. World time zones. Let's see, we already know about Greenwich time. Local time for each city. Beijing. That's why the time in square. This is to help us with a puzzle. Basically, under one of these portraits is a prize. Oh, here's the spider. Do we need all of these? So, we need one more weight. Someone predicted there's a spider 
weight puzzle. I'm not sure if there's a reward for doing these. I think it might just be completion this day. But, mm, poke around. <sighs> My heart. Check me, models of the school. go for the light. Just stay right here. Stay right here. Malls of the school. Right? We're, we're model student. Get it? Of course you do. I'm hilarious. But seriously, turn off the lights and leave. Now, when well, we get the chance. While well, he plays dumb dumb, we go smart smart. Open this door on him. Make him really angry. Ha <laughs> ha! Told you guys I was a mall student. <laughs> Let's just run. Fuck it. I'm gonna take advantage of the opening I have here right now. I'll unlock this door. Which is the electrical room. Uh, everything should be unlocked right now. Except for the rooftop swing pool. Which we haven't even gone in. This is. I just did something. Probably here too soon. Document. The mystery in the biology lab. There are many strange rumors surrounding the biology lab. Most of them featuring a walking mannequin or scraping noises across the floor. Also, most of these rumors were based off the history of the school building. The history of the school building goes all the way back to the occupation era. The building was used as a concentration camp for political prisoners while everything just happens here. Some parts of the concentration camp was used by the occupying military to conduct horrendous experiments on human subjects. Every single experiment that was conducted there was evil and inhumane. The screams of subjects filled the air around the clock. Students believe that the location of the biology lab used to be one of those human experimentation labs. So every time there was an accident in the biology lab, the students always brought up the idea that it had something to do with the curse of the human experiment victims who were killed there, or that the head researcher remained in the form of a ghost. Some even went on to say that the anatomy mannequin in the corner of the room was actually a corpse of one of the experiment subjects. However, the most famous rumor of them all was the imprisonment accident. D didn't get very good grades, but he was especially interested in science, and he worked hard in his studies. The science teacher took pity on him and recommended D to be the school's representative for a science contest. D saw it as a great opportunity for him, and studied even harder. With the teacher's permission, he stayed behind every day after school, and had to study more and prepare himself for the contest. The area which he spent the greatest amount of effort on was the human anatomy composition. He studied the anatomy mannequin on a daily basis like an idiot. Not a literal one, I mean like, you know, dead. A few days before the science contest, D, who was sitting alone in the biology lab, was so exhausted that he fell asleep. When he woke up it was dark, and the lights had been turned off. He tried to turn the light back on, but it didn't work. Even the door seemed to be locked from the outside. He had no choice but to stay in the dark biology lab and spend the night there. He usually never bothered to think about the rumors, but his current situation triggered his memory to replay all the scary stories he had heard. The more he tried not to think about them, the stronger they came into his mind. D was becoming more afraid with each passing second. He was especially afraid of the anatomy mannequin in the dark. His heartbeat raced, 
It was becoming hard for him to breathe. Dee was so scared that he decided to light an alcohol lamp. Just as the flame brought its flickering light to the room, the anatomy mannequin suddenly came alive and slowly started to move towards Dee. The next morning, Dee was found dead in the biology lab. The cause of death was reported as heart attack. What was failed to be explained was that his nails were ripped from their beds, and that on the biology lab's door, there were scratch marks with trails of blood, and the words scrawled in blood that read, Anatomy Mannequin. I warned you about that damn mannequin! People question me. I know my shit. And you don't trust that mannequin. So, eleven. Which would make this one eleven. So, eleven plus three. So, here's Greenwich time, so 1, 3, 2 o'clock. I might aggro the guy up here, we'll see. Cause I'm stomping around, he doesn't like that. Then you are GMT plus 8, so... 11, 1... Seven o'clock. Hopefully you don't spawn me in here. So eight. There we go. Boy, the cult club was ratcheting into some occult shit, boy. Okay, Elrod, Spirit Bells. Elrod. Excellent. Let's get out of here. Now I think that bell stops this fox. Because get it, it's a fox bell. Or something. Or, or you know, it just doesn't do anything. Do I hear the janitor? No, it's because I spawned into the new area. It's the old janitor, not the new, like, really advanced one. It's a Terminator. Okay, welcome back to the old school. Let's go back to the first floor. So I can solve the principal puzzle. So, the L one. I gotta write these down. Ellie. Uh, bird. This is probably one of those things that's random every time you play the game. Weird, funny sea thing. And four. Clear. Good. Fuck me. You shouldn't have cigarettes on yourself, kids. Damn ghost of scissors gonna come out and murder you. I know what I must do, but I'm not gonna like it. I'm really not gonna like this. You 
moving? No, it's not moving yet. Is it moving? No, I got the fucking janitor instead. You bastard, I'm trying to do something. Oh my god. I got your ass on my ass. Listen. I need this. Go away, mannequin. Go away. You too, janitor. Oh, I'm backing myself in the room. I'm alive. Barely. That wasn't worth it. You can go screw yourself. <laughs> now, what do I get by using all of you? Because I think I found all of them. Something fell down. What? An incorrectly solved math problem. Let's see. Time says she was always full of herself. When the teacher wasn't around, she would act snotty, and if she was better than everyone else in her class. None of her classmates liked her. Everyone avoided her. But Nahi... I'm not actually sure how to pronounce this name at all. Nahi? Something like that? Could not care less. What does it matter what they say or think about me? They're all losers. Nahi thought to herself. Maybe Nahi. Nahi was prideful and had a large ego. Then one cool arm day, the subject for fifth period was math. The subject that the homeroom teacher taught it was right after lunch, and with the cold breeze coming in through the window, most students were nodding off during the lesson. To wake the class up, the irritated teacher called a few of the students to the board to solve some math problems. Nahai was one of the students who was called up. I really think it's he. One by one, students returned to their seat after solving their problem. Since the problems were easy, no one got them wrong. Except Nahai. She had read the question wrong, and incorrectly solved the problem. This was unheard of considering her skill in math. In front of the whole class, the teacher rebuked Nahi, saying that it was a stupid mistake. The teacher intended for Nahi to remember the embarrassment and never make the same mistake again. Nahi could not lift her head out of shame. Her face turned bright red. The kids could not stop snickering. The fact that the teacher's pet was being scolded right in front of them was fun and satisfying. When the teacher left at the end of the lesson, all the kids started talking about what had just happened to Nahi. They sounded excited that they finally had something to hold over her. Nahi was angry. She blamed the teacher who embarrassed her in front of the class. She hated her classmates who took it as an opportunity to talk behind her back even more. And she was angry at herself for getting the stupid question wrong. Even when she went home after school, she could not get it out of her mind. She hated her eyes for reading the question wrong. It's not my fault, she decided. She rationalized to herself that the problem was not hers, but her eyes. Soon, a terrible sound was heard. And the workbook on her desk was splattered with red. The next day, Nahi's classmates trembled with fear. When it was announced that Nahi had committed suicide by digging her own eyes out with a knife. After this happened, a rumor spread out whenever a math problem was left on the chalkboard, Nahi's ghost was summoned. And it said that the ghost could stare at the problem on the chalkboard, but her eye sockets would be empty holes. I have some chalk. Maybe I can write a problem on the board and summon her for some no good reason. You know, because I'm dumb. Oh god, there she is. Can I help you there? That can't be. Here, let me. My eyes. Let's get out of here. That noise sucks.
Oh, fuck. No, no. Small lock. What kind of lock? That's a jump scare. Listen, I want that item. Screw off. Like my darkest hour, you prick. 